Hey, what's good, guys? It's Andrew from TravelingGuitars.com. Uh, today, I'm talking to you about the differences between acoustic and electric. Excuse me, I'm just moving my chair. The difference between electric and acoustic guitar strings. And right away, I'm just going to show you them. So you got your electric right here, right? And then you got your acoustic right here. So right away, you notice a difference. Like, they're a different color. However, that's not the difference. Um, it is a difference, but the main difference is that electric guitar strings, they are typically coated in steel, nickel, or chromium. And like there's a steel core wire that's wrapped in nickel. Typically, that's the most common. Whereas um, acoustic guitar strings, I believe there's the same steel core wire. However, they're wrapped in phosphor bronze typically. And um, the reason for that is that phosphor bronze, I think, is more acoustically resonant. And that's one of the reasons why uh, acoustic guitar strings are different. Additionally, acoustic guitar strings and electric guitar strings are different in terms of their thickness as well. So I think a good analogy or a way of putting it is that acoustic guitar strings, typically the lightest gauge is like the heaviest electric guitar string gauge. So for instance, if you take a look at my website right here at Traveling Guitars, you can see I have the 11 to 52s. Well, those are electric guitar strings, okay? 11 to 52. So if you take a look at the light acoustic guitar strings, that's about 12 to 53 gauge. So as you can see, like they're, those are two very similar gauges, and that's that's kind of like the heaviest electric guitar string. They do go up, but it's you know one of the he the heaviest gauges, and uh, that's kind of like what an, a light string gauge is on the acoustic. So that's kind of the primary difference between the two. It's mostly their thickness, number one, and then their material as well. That's essentially the main difference between acoustic and electric guitar strings. One of the reasons why acoustic guitars are crafted in this way is because they do not have a speaker or, excuse me, an amplifier cabinet combination to amplify the sound. The acoustic guitar is its own speaker, you know, the sound hole and the piece of wood. Because wood is so conducive to sound, the wood is the speaker, you know, like that is the amp amplifier cab combination. So I'll show you what I mean right now. So as you can see, you know, you got your sound hole right here. And that's just like reverberating through the guitar. And the sound hole is, a lot, is you know, facilitating that process. In comparison to an electric guitar, which is using pickups, which is, uh, you know, picking up the sound literally. Another major difference between acoustic and electric guitar strings is that acoustic guitar strings tend to be wound tighter because they're thicker. So that means there's much, there's more tension on the neck. And also they're, they're, harder to bend which also means that it's harder to fret the note that's like the main playability difference between the two in fact i think it's a really good practice technique to actually like practice scales and hammer on and pull off or slurs as they're called techniques on your acoustic guitar and the reason for doing that is because like once you switch over to an electric guitar afterwards the action is so low in comparison to an acoustic and also the strings are so much lighter and easier to play that you'll do those same exercises on the electric guitar and it's it's so much easier it's like a diff it's like a world of difference it's a totally do you know it's like a different universe of uh uh you know like being easy in the sense of being easy um so that's one thing that's really cool about it and i i do that all the time because after you get on the electric guitar like you can just shred it you know like it feels so easy to do it that way so with all that being said um a lot of people wonder if thicker strings are actually better than lighter strings. There's a really interesting YouTube video from Rick Beato where he talks about that. Like him and his friends, they compare and contrast uh, light strings to heavy strings. And they conclude that light strings are better if you want like more uh, twanginess and tone. I think that was the conclusion of the video anyway. But anyway, I found that there was definitely, I think there's definitely more power in thicker strings. Um, and that's probably just because you have to press on them harder and you have to strum harder to get the same output maybe. That's my theory. Um, but ultimately I find that, you know, medium gauge strings are kind of where it's at. Like, although to be quite honest, I'm getting kind of sick of medium. Um, lately I've been using a lot of, uh, skinny top heavy bottom from Ernie Ball or, uh, you know, similar companies where they just have a, literally a skinny string at the top and then heavier bottoms. I've been doing that a lot. Yeah. I have these ones right here. These like slinky heavy ones. They're 10 to 52. So they're like fairly light on the top, but like heavy on the low end. And then I also use, I think I have some more in here. Yeah, here we go. Skinny top, heavy bottom again from Ernie Ball. Ernie Ball isn't even really my favorite string company, but, but frankly, I just always get them because I just feel like the marketing is so good and the packaging is so good that I just always buy them because I don't know, it's just cool. Like the packaging looks cool and they do a good job of that. And so I buy their product because of that. Maybe that's shallow. Maybe that's uncool. I don't know. I don't really care though. But anyway, so I hope you kind of learned something uh, from this video. Just make sure you check out the article as well. You can kind of see it here in my, 
uh, on travelingguitars.com. But anyway, yeah, um, have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.